Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Raja Katipuna. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Raja Katipunan. Today is the Tuesday in the second week of Lent, the 27th of February, 2024. Let us all rise and welcome our Mass celebrant this morning, Reverend Father Jason D. of the Society of Jesus, with the singing of our entrance hymn. We come before the presence of God, the God who gathers us in His love and His Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we celebrate Tuesday in second week of Lent, we also would like to remember the memorial of St. Gregory of Naz- Narek abbot and doctor of the church. In today's Mass, we pray for the grace of humility, that indeed, in the presence of God, we acknowledge His awesome mercy to all of us. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus Christ, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy, and since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall. May we be kept by your constant helps from all harm, and directed to all that bring salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Mm. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. 
Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphans plea. Defend the widow. Come now. Let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats, out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat in the alt- on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all the things whatsoever they tell you. But do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear friends, our readings today teach us some important aspects of humility. In the prophecy of Isaiah to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, humility is about listening to the word of God. The downfall of Sodom and Gomorrah is rooted in their deafness, deafness to God's invitation to put away their misdeeds. Cease doing evil, learn to do good, make justice, redress the wrong, hear the orphan's plea, and defend the widow. Only Lot and his two daughters are saved. Even his wife, her inability to listen to the angel's instruction not to turn back, is turned herself into a pillar of salt. Deafness, my dear friends, due to human arrogance and pride, makes one defy God's commands. Instead of heeding the call of repentance and transformation to be cleansed from scarlet red sin into white as wool or snow, 
deafness hardens one's heart until it becomes a pillar of salt. Second, humility is allowing the Lord to correct our ways. Humility is allowing the Lord to correct our ways. The upright person sets wrong things right. The Lord rebukes us for not offering the sacrifice of praise that glorifies Him, as the psalmist suggests. In taking the right path toward renewal, transformation, and maturation, the Lord will show us His salvation. My dear friends, in Lent, we ourselves need to be disciplined by God. We need to allow ourselves to be disciplined by Him. To be disciplined is not in a sense of being rigid in following statutes and ordinances of the Lord out of fear or reward. To be disciplined is to be trained, to be trained in righteousness so that we can attune our hearts to live out our covenant with God. It is to choose that which is the most loving option. Lastly, humility is recognizing Jesus as our master. When one's ego dictates that we are our own master, we do not only seek the seats of honor, but lord over other people to show off our power, privilege, and prestige like the scribes and the Pharisees. But when Jesus is our rabbi, our righteousness is not a performance of an empty show of good deeds or a ritual of showcasing the spectacle of pious practices. Following our servant leader, our righteousness is that of a humble service, of untying the heavy burdens hard to carry by the poor, marginalized, and the oppressed. This humble service is willing to lift a finger to alleviate the condition of the suffering other. My dear friends, following Jesus as his master and rabbi, Saint Gregor, the saint today, a theologian, wrote a mystical interpretation of the song and song of songs and a long mystical poem that is called Book of Prayer or the Book of Lamentations. It became a classic Aramean literature translated into 30 languages. St. Gregor Monastery may not have survived the bloodshed of the Amer- Amerian genocide in which 1.5 million Amerians, including Assyrians, Chaldeans, Greeks, and Syrian Christians, died. Yet the writings of St. Gregor, who is called angel in human form, survived, carrying to God the cries of the millions of hearts. In 2015, as the world observed the 100 yet anniversary of the Aramean genocide in the Ottoman Empire, Pope Francis declared the monk, poet, and saint of the Amerian Apostolic Church, doctor of our church. And Pope Francis said, and I quote, Saint Gregor gave voice to the cry, which became a prayer of a sinful and sorrowful humanity, oppressed by the anguish of its powerfulness, but illuminated by the splendor of God's love, open to the hope of a salvific intervention, which is capable of transforming all things. Today's Mass, St. Gregor, is an example for us of someone who is greatest among us because he was God's servant. In his humble service, he is exalted as a doctor of church, saint of God. Amen. Let us now pray and offer our prayers to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord for the gift of a humble and quiet heart to be at rest when nobody praises us or when we are blamed or despised. For our confidence is in the Lord 
who alone knows the human heart. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant our religious leaders the gift of compassion and humility to recognize their shortcomings and to be kind, gentle, giving, and forgiving. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May our political and civil leaders make justice their aim, redress those who are wrong, and defend those who have less in life. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we not impose on others the burden that we ourselves are unable or unwilling to carry. We pray. Lord, Lord give us our prayer. prayer. Help us to praise rather than criticize and to think of people at their best rather than at their worst. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we bear witness to our faith less by words and more by action. May there be no contradiction between what we say and what we do. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Dr. Gabi Millar, Andoni Albert, Grace Evardone, Attorney Charlie Baizas, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the healing of Annie Hizon, Sherry Ocampo, Michelle Salvador, Stella Marina Garcia, Isha Aganon, Jeffrey Lacang, Karina Ali, Abby Puno, Eva Francisco, Anacleto Deles Badoy Jr., Terry Lindsay, Johnny Hernandez, Mercedes Abad, Sandro Zaragoza, and Liam Levoy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Nelly Padua, Lucy Borromeo, Tirso Santillan Sr., Dingdong Eduque, Perla Trinidad Rosales, Ubs Millar, John Borromeo, Lourdes Echaus, Tito Alex De Castro, Father William Yam SJ, Father James Gordon Collar SJ, Erlinda Tino Matias, Amalio Sarmiento, Marian Mayan Gutierrez, Leticia Florencio, Jose Paulo Palacol, Teresita Arenas, Eric Torres, and Rosita Singian. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the special intentions of Dennis Stan, Nightingale Peace and Family, Violet, Sandy, Elo Santiago, Balen Gutierrez, Maisa Castaneda, Diego and Joaquin, Dennis and Cel, Dino and Lisa Alandoni, Puch and Nelia Nazareno, Shelly Tomacruz, J.P. and Hill, Jet and Ada, Nathan Hans, Annie Bautista, Ed Tortorici, Salud de Castro, Maria Gulsby, Florentino Gonzalez, Amanda Sagmit, Rose Padua, Olivia Hilton, Father Ro Atelano SJ, Richard Manuel, Grace T. and Family, Anisha C. and Family, Maricor, Marijo, Lizzie Ann, Cecil, Susie Liu, Marge Matutina, Susan Jorge, Kat Carlos, Anna Bautista, Yvonne Luna, Marivic Ocampo, and Jeffrey Sablayan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in Israel, Palestine, Myanmar, Ukraine, Congo, and the Philippines, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all other intentions, send to our Facebook pages at Chesscom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Our loving and merciful Father, Help us perform our actions to help others with charity, humility, and simplicity, and only for your greater glory. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, to your goodness that is bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O Lord God, of all creation, to your goodness it is wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all rise. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it be become cleansed of earthly faults and be led to the gifts of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, who have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jew fall, so that they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ you be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our local bishop, your respected bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Gregory, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by this divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the refreshment of the sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase in devotedness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. tin tưởng và phó thác vào Thiên Chúa. Mọi lời cầu nguyện, lỗ lực của mọi người sẽ được đền đáp. Chúc quý vị và các bạn luôn luôn bình an và hạnh phúc trong ơn Chúa.